Abattoir. Abattoir. Uh, not arbitoire. No. no. Abattoir, a fancy word for slaughterhouse. I didn't really know what to expect going into this one, to be honest. There's this guy who's basically buying rooms of houses where people have been killed. And he is making his own sort of hell house compound out of these rooms where people have been slaughtered. That's rad. Yeah, unfortunately it takes like an hour and 15 minutes for all that to be explained. I liked the story that was trying to be told. I there. like the concept. There it is. Okay. I like the concept. I felt like every every like scene in the first like 40 minutes, maybe not that much, 30 minutes was like a big aha revelatory you know, moment, but there comes this time in the middle where shit just really hits the brakes and slows down. It was like that for me the whole way. It was a, just slogging. It sort of feels like it wants to be some sort of like noir movie yes. from back in the day. Um, you've got the, the lead actress who has her hair and her makeup. It's very like throwback. She works at a newspaper. She drives like a 1950s, like whatever, the old school 50s stereotypical car. Um, but then there's this scene where like, she's she's driving in a hurry and all of a sudden the detective pulls up in like a, like a 2014 black Dodge Charger. Like, Wait, what? It's very weird. It's not a bad movie. Certainly not a great movie. Would I spend my money on it? Nah. No, I wouldn't either. Netflix time, though? Absolutely. Put it on. Give it a watch. Sure. I, I think it's good for that. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to rent it. No, absolutely not. <laughs>